Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm just gonna be shampooing my client hair and doing a trim. So, before I start shampooing my client hair, I like to wet her hair first, get all the products out her hair. So that's what I'm doing right now. Then go in with the shampoo. I already shampooed her hair like twice, but I didn't do it on camera. So this one, I'm gonna be doing, doing it on camera. I like to shampoo my clients three times. Y'all didn't see me doing it three times, but in the water, you can see the soap though. And look, you see that? You gotta wash your client's hair until it start foaming up, just like that. When it starts to lather, just like that, that's how you know it's clean. Always shampoo your client's hair more than twice for a good, thorough clean. Clean it. Let's give him a bubble bath. Just like your body. Wash your body till you start lathering. Then I'm gonna rinse her off. This sink got like a clogging problem. That's why it's the water going down mad slow. But I'm still get the work done. Then I went in with Rosemary Mint, Design Essential Conditioner. Put some of that in her hair, rub it in. I like to start off with the product on the ends of her hair and work my way to the roots. As you can see. Then, whenever I put the condition in, after the condition is in, I like to detangle my client's hair with a a denim brush or a wide tooth comb but I like the denim the denim brush Get my shots off the beat. Also, I like to rinse off my client hair with cool water so the moisture could seal. Then, when you're done doing the conditioner, make sure you dry her hair off right. And use the towel. She just received the princess treatment, you see that? Young little lady. I already dry it off with the towel. And my spray bottle is water. It's my slate oil and water, obviously. And I went in with a heat protectant before I went in with the blow dryer. And some extra little oil. I like to moisturize my client's hair while it's wet. So the moisture is still in the beat. When I dry it, it will be nice and moisturized. You gotta get you one of these, bro. these hair dryers, cause look at that. It gets the work done. It get it done. Before I start cutting her hair, well, trimming her hair, I like to section her hair off as if I'm about to style it. But I'm doing two sections in the front and her crown area. Then I'm gonna part her nape area and clip that with like rubber band or before I start trimming her hair, then I like to section off before I start cutting. I use the middle one as like a guide, guide. So when I cut throughout her whole head, it will be the same length.
I like to cut whatever pieces that look see-through or that look like the ends of a broomstick. And make sure your client head is facing straight because if her head, her head is angling a different way, it can affect your cut. Just get my shots off the beat. Then when I get to her occipital bone, I like to like cut her hair into like a 90 to cut her ends as well because her ends is not as long as her nape area. get to the sides I like to make sure her her sides is the same length as a perimeter of her whole head just get my shots off the beat I'm all done. Now I'm about to style her up. But I didn't record me styling her here. But look at her all her dead ends. Thank you for watching, beauties. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel so we could grow together. You feel me?